Graphene is a monolayer of carbon atoms arranged together in a honey complex structure. It is two dimensional material and it is considered to be the strongest material ever discovered. Uh, it has uh, many uh, superior features like electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, uh, it is transparent uh, and much stronger than steel. We are graphene producers and we develop a conductive ink with our graphene that is organic based and is water resistant. And you can print sensors like capacitive sensors, proximity sensors and resistive sensors. This is an example of a capacitive sensor. You don't need to touch it because you are changing the capacitance for your sample. You can use this to, for example, open doors in buildings, etc. This is another example of capacitance. Just and you can print this in textiles, in wood, in paper, in polymers, and you can do it by screen printing, roll to roll, and by hand. This is a piece of textile that is flexible and is screen printed with the ink. And you can use this as a heater. You can warm it up if you apply a potential. So using my phone, uh, I saw the characteristic of a button about seven seconds using graphene. Okay. Because we have, uh, you have two advantages. One is that using graphene, you can store a lot of charges. Why? Because we have a very light, huge surface using graphene. It's around uh, 2,900 2, um, meters square by gram, which is two football pitches actually. And so uh, the other advantage is that uh, graphene is a sort of highway for charges. So you can reduce in a dramatic way the resistance, so to increase the power. For this reason, you can reach a level of around 100 kilowatt by kilogram, which is really huge for this kind of device. We are here producing the solar models, introducing a ink and absorber, and introducing the graphene to increase the efficiency of the solar cell and also the stability of the solar cell. Um, here the model that we are showing in now is a 12.6% in efficiency that is the record now for this uh, site in this kind of absorbing material that has been developed in the just in few years uh, ago. For the, this uh, conference we are showing now a prototype in which connecting three of these cells we are able to, to start a mobile. So what we are showing here is a Wi-Fi uh, link with the graphene on both sides. So we have the RF part, which is on the graphene in the receiver and in the transmitter. And therefore, we can basically exploit the uh, properties of graphene that it does not need a substrate. And we can put it on a foil, for example, like this. Or we can actually fabricate it also on glass or other variety of um, low-cost substrates, which then enables, of course, to use it for conformal uh, applications like uh, biomedical applications, wearable, IoT things, RFID, tags and so on, where you need low cost and large area. Blood samples contain vital information about the person's health. And conventional blood tests require laboratory equipment, which is not always available, for example, in developing countries. In case of an epidemic outbreak, this means there is a critical delay between sample collection and test results. Yeah. Our sensing platform is based on silicon photonics, um, which identifies the molecular fingerprint uh, of a disease in a single drop of blood. Here, for example, in the mock-up, an Ebola virus. A readout enables the transmission of results using only a conventional smartphone. This can support then the identification of epidemics in an early stage and also supports the coordination of humanitarian aid. So the application there would be, for 
for example, sports or uh, therapy. So there are three, three ways to, three important uh, parameters for water filters. So the first one is the amount of water you get out for a given pressure on one side. Um, the second is the uh, selectivity, so how much uh, water you get out for a given volume that you put in. And the third is, is the fouling, how, um, how long the membrane can last or how long the filter can last before it is, um, becomes clogged with, with material. Um, so we are very competitive on the first one, on the flux, um, but we want to improve the selectivity. So for a given, uh, if you put one liter in, we want to get um, half a liter, 600 ml out as clean water. Um, and we're also looking at um, decreasing or increasing the lifetime of the membrane. Um, so these work in a slightly different way to conventional membranes. So it's rather than being diffusion limited, it's uh, to truly size selective graphene uh, oxide membrane. Here we are presenting a UV sensor. It's embedded in this patch, which is connected to an LFC antenna. So we wanted to create a wearable that is useful to help you know whether you are exposed to harmful UV light. So right now we are inside the room, so there's no UV light. But we turn on our artificial sun. Once we expose the sensor to the UV light, we are detecting the signal. Uh, no buttons or switches, they can just touch the surface and activate the functionality. 